today is Monday the 29th of April. It's currently half ten. We've just been to feed Leo. We went to feed him at nine o'clock and he had a nice feed. He fell asleep so we put him back and we just came back for a bit of breakfast. So Lawrence and I have now had our breakfast and I'm just about to run mum and see how Alice is. So once I've done that I'll get back to you. now 11 15 i just got back from going to see leo he was stirring a bit so he thought he might need a feed but as soon as we got there and picked him up he fell straight asleep so i'm now going to do some expressing and then we're going to see if he's okay or if he needs another feed in a minute so i'm just going to go and sterilize everything so i thought i'd show you where we sterilize everything and get everything clean so i'll show you that okay so this is where we clean and sterilize everything It is now 12 o'clock. I've just finished expressing the milk for Leo. Lawrence has gone and put that in the fridge and he's now gone to go and sit with Leo for a little bit. And if he does wake up, he's gonna give him some of the express milk. I'm gonna have a little rest before Alice comes because I'm a bit tired and when she's here, I want to play with her and not be really tired. So I'm gonna have a little rest and hopefully she'll be here by about half 12. So about half an hour, I'm hoping she'll be here. I have a nice play with her and I can feed her some lunch. My parents are gonna bring her a little pat lunch so we can have a little pat lunch together and do some colouring just spend some nice mummy daughter time together because I haven't really spent any time with her at all really when she has come she's just been really clingy to Lawrence and not really wanted to come to me I think she's a bit scared of what's going on and she's not quite sure so hopefully if it's just me and her she'll be okay and, my, and Lawrence is going to take my family to go and see Leo so that's the plan so I'm going to get back to you once she gets here and hopefully She'll be happy and play with me. Hi, it is now quarter past one. Alice isn't here yet. They're on the way though. They should be here in about 10, 20 minutes, hopefully, depending if they can get a car parking space. And I've just got some lunch out. Um, I was hoping she'd be here now by now and we could have shared it, but she's not here yet. So I think I'm gonna eat the sandwiches. I've got her some little grapes and some orange and apple. So when she comes, she can have some of that. I've got some French fry crisps as well, which probably aren't the best for her, but I might let her have a little treat since she's come to see mummy. So yeah, I'm all set up, We're just waiting for her to get here now and we can have our lunch together. Made some ham sandwiches because we both like ham sandwiches. Got some little grapes here for her. Got an orange and apple. I think my parents are bringing her some food as well, but I just wanted to make sure I had some stuff for her. And there's these crisps that she can have as well if if she needs them. If she's all right, then she won't give her those. But yeah, just waiting for her now. Just wanted to get here. Uh, I just think case Alice wanted some bread, but I just brought some, so I'll put it back if you want. We've got no ham left now. Oh! Yeah, I've got a little chef. Yeah, drinky drink. Uh, where's Daddy's ear, Alice? Usually love getting ears. <laughs> where's Daddy's nosy, Alice? Beep. Where's Daddy's nosy? Beep. Oh. <laughs> Hi, it's now half three. Alice has just left, which I'm really upset about. I had a little cry because she didn't want to leave me. She just wanted to stay, so she's gone. But hopefully I'll see her tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But I need to go and feed Leo now. We're hoping maybe he might come home in the next couple of days. He needs to be feeding enough and 
his jaundice levels to go down so I need to just make sure I keep feeding him so yeah I can go feed him now and hopefully in a couple of days we can go home because I do not want to be away from Alice any longer. Hi, so it is now six o'clock. Lawrence has just gone to get us some food. I think he's gone to McDonald's because we're really hungry and it's just quick to get that and eat that. So he's gone to McDonald's and we're gonna have McDonald's today, which I know is really bad, but oh well, we're gonna have that today. And um, yeah, after that, then gotta go and feed Leo and then I have to go and get my stitches taken out. So they told me to go to the midwife bit in St. Mary's Hospital. Um, so I need to go there. It's just a short walk. It's not too far, I don't think. Although, I don't know if I want to walk that far. Maybe I'm going to get Lawrence to push me in the wheelchair. We'll see how bad my stitches are. Often when I'm lying down and then I get up again, that's when they really hurt and I struggle to walk a bit. But we'll see if I need him to take me or not. So yeah, that's the plan. So we're going to have our dinner and then I've got to go get my stitches taken out, feed Leo and then um, we're trying to feed him every two hours. Um, they have told us they want to transfer him to Wibbenshaw Hospital if he's not better in the next couple of days, which is not great for us because I have no idea how we go and get there, if there's going to be a bed for us, which I don't think there is, and if there isn't, it's really difficult to get to by bus when you've just had a C-section as well, so I don't know what I'm going to do if they do decide to transfer us there which is really, really annoying because they say that's classed as our local one, even though it's further away and more difficult to get to. So, I don't know. Anyway, she says hopefully he might be better and they won't need to send us. They said if he thinks he only needs to be in there for one day, then they might just send us home because he actually is feeding better than Alice was at this stage and they sent her home straight away. So, we'll have to see. I'm not going to be happy if we have to go all the way to Wibbenshaw. I don't have any idea how to actually get there because we don't drive so I know there's definitely not a bus that goes straight there from our house it's going to be probably like a couple of buses so yeah I don't know we'll have to see I'm hoping that he's well enough to go home tomorrow instead um hopefully fingers crossed so yeah I will get back to you hopefully in a little bit when we go to feed him let you know how the st stitches being taken out goes and yeah I'll see you in a bit so it's now 20 past 6, Lawrence has just got home with the McDonald's, I've just got a five piece chicken select meal. He bought himself a spaghetti bolognese ready meal, so he's going to have that and I could have this, treat myself again. <laughs> yeah. I'm also going to watch some YouTube while I eat this as well, so I'll get back to you in a little bit. Hi, so it's now quarter past seven, Lawrence has just gone to feed Leo and I'm probably going to have to head down to the midwife now to get my stitches removed so I've got all my notes that I need to take with me and I'm gonna head down there now. Not looking forward to this. Hi so it is now half eight I'm just part from getting my stitches taken out and apparently it is infected so I'm actually gonna to have to now go to the triage so they can have a look at it, clean the wound up and give me some antibiotics for it. Apparently there's quite a big queue um, waiting it's quite a long wait and I did I needed to express because I'm not expressed now for ages so I think I have to come back to do that and then I've got to go and wait to, in triage to get my boon seen too so yeah it's been a very long hectic day today I'm quite tired we were planning to go to bed early around now but obviously now I've got to go and wait in triage probably for at least an hour or so so yeah, I'll try and get back to you a little bit later and let you know how it went. Waiting to be seen by the doctor, Anna. Yeah. Been here a while. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> cute. Yeah. Let me see if you have to stop a bit Hi, so it's now quarter past 11. Um, only just got back from 
triage well we did nip in i did nip in quickly to see leo and had a little cuddle with him so i think we probably got back from triage around 11 and what time did we get there i think we got there at nine so it's been two hours waiting and getting seen um, they did give me some antibiotics well they gave me a prescription for some antibiotics and i have to try go and collect them tomorrow which last time we went to that pharmacy to collect something that the wait to get it was an hour so i'm not looking forward to waiting an hour to get that tomorrow hopefully maybe if i get there as soon as it opens it might not be so bad but we'll see i'm thinking it probably will be so yeah that i have to go that get that at nine o'clock tomorrow and she'll take them straight away once you get them so yeah i am going to come back and i've just come back now i'm going to have a shower because she said to try and keep it clean um she said to wash it at least two two times a day and make sure that it's dry so because of where the scar is it's hard to see and it's hard to um clean it properly and get it dry so should make sure your your husband like make sure it's dry for you afterwards so he will have to check you when he gets back and stuff but yeah so i'm gonna have a shower now and then i am gonna have a little sleep before leo's next feed lawrence is currently giving him this feed and then i will do the next one so yeah we will get back to you a little bit later or in fact actually now it's quite late maybe we will just i might just see you tomorrow so i think i'll just see you tomorrow now so see you tomorrow hi today is tuesday the 30th of april it's about half nine now this morning i got up at seven and went to feed leo so i breastfed him for a bit till he settled and put him down because he wasn't settling lawrence had originally gone and fed him a bottle but he couldn't get him settled to go back down so i went and breastfed him for a little bit and that seemed to settle him and he went back down then lawrence had to leave at about i think it was quarter past no quarter to quarter to nine he had to leave because he had to go for a dentist appointment today and i had to get to the pharmacy pick up my antibiotics because like i said yesterday my um cesarean scars got a bit infected so i had to go and get some antibiotics for that so i had to go down to the pharmacy and there's a 20 minute wait so I had to wait for 20 minutes there. So I just got back now and just taken the first tablet. I think I have to take four a day. So just taken that. Um, I think I'm now gonna try and FaceTime Alice and say hello to Alice. And then I think it'll be time for Leo's next feed. So I'm gonna FaceTime Alice now and then I'll get back to you when I go and feed Leo. Hi, so it's now half 10. So far we go and see Leo, see if he needs a feed might take a few pictures of him and stuff like that so I thought I'd take you with me while I go and see him. Time for your feed Leo. Hey, she came to your nappy. Yeah. Someone's ready for his bottle, aren't you? Yeah, I know. He's just heating up for you. He's nearly done. Done, darling. Hi, so it's now 12 o'clock. I'm just back from feeding Leo. He had 45 mils of his bottle, which is really, really good. I also spoke to the doctor and his um, jaundice levels have gone down now. So they've taken him off the photo therapy lights and then they're going to check his levels again in the morning and if they are um still low then hopefully he can go home tomorrow so fingers crossed it doesn't go back up again and then we can take him home so excited to take him home so yeah they've um taken off his lights um but they're not putting him in a cot because just in case he go back up again so sorry i think the video actually cut off before when i was talking i think it was because my um parents rang me on um, facetime so i got to facetime with alice so a nice little FaceTime with Alice. Lawrence is with her. He's having a nice little play, but she was getting a bit sleepy, so I think he was going to put her down for a little nap. And then I think he was going to head back, so I'm hoping he'll be back hopefully by about half one, two. It's one o'clock now, so I can now go and get myself some lunch because I'm starving. So I think I'm going to go and make myself a sandwich, probably have a packet of crisps, and maybe watch a bit of YouTube while I eat it. So I'm going to take this back to my room and sort out. So I think I've left the bread in so I've just made myself a nice ham and cheese sandwich. I'm gonna go and put the ham and cheese back now. I just brought it in here because the bread was in here. So I just thought I'd bring it all in, but I'm gonna go put it back in the fridge and I'm gonna come back and eat this. 
Hi, so it's now half two. Lawrence has gotten back from the dentist and seen Alice and he's gone to go and feed Leo now. And I'm gonna do some expressing because I've not done any all day and it needs it needs to be done. So I'm gonna do that now. I've just sterilized. Oof, I've just sterilized all the bits for the breast pump. So I'm just gonna do this now. And then I'll get back to you after this and I'll go see Leo. It looks like he's off, isn't it? Oh. Good boy. Hi, so it's now seven o'clock. I've just had a quick shower, cleaned my wound and everything and dried it with a hairdryer like the doctor said. And now Lilith and I are just about to have some dinner. Um, he bought me a ready meal, I think he got it from Morrison's and it's just sausage, sausage and mash. That's what I'm having for dinner today. Uh, I'm then going to express some milk for Leo and then we're going to go feed him. So that's the plan for now. I'll just show you my dinner. It is my dinner, sausage mash. So I'm going to eat this now and then express some milk and then we're going to go and see Leo. We're hoping we can actually take him home tomorrow because his jaundice has gone down. So as long as it stays down tomorrow we can take him home. So. Hopefully, hopefully this might be our last night, so fingers crossed. So yeah, I'll get back to you in a bit. Yeah. Well, I could feed him if he stopped now. The front, eh? Yeah. Leo's got hiccups, haven't you? Hiccup. Oh, hiccup. today is wednesday the first of may it's actually i think it's about half ten now and uh, leo is due a feed we already gave him her feed three hours ago i can't remember what time it is still really tired because we were feeding him throughout the night and stuff so i'm a bit sleepy but i'm gonna go ahead and go feed him lawrence is already there um we're hoping he might come home today but they took his test and it was the same as it was last time. Hasn't gone down, hasn't gone up, so we're not sure if it's going to make us stay another day just to keep an eye on him, so we'll see what the doctor says later. So I need to go and get there now. I need some more wipes for him, so I'm just going to take these and I will get back to you in a little bit. Daddy's changing his nappy. Hi, so it's now 12 o'clock. I've just had a shower and cleaned and dried my scar and everything and Lawrence just rang me to say Leo's a bit um, unsettled so to come and give him a feed so I'm going to go there and give him a feed now. So it's now half one and Alice has just arrived. She's come to have lunch with us. So my, um, Lawrence has just gone to get her with my parents. They're at the front. They should be here any minute. So I'm just going to go to the kitchen now and get all our stuff for lunch. So we can have a nice little lunch together. <laughs> are you hungry? Yes, you are, aren't you? She looks sniffling as well. You're having a sandwich? <coughs> oh. He kept on into stroke him and hold his 
now 10 to 6 and they've just discharged Leo so we can take him home now so we're just gonna get him ready I'm just waiting for my, my dad to come pick us up and then we're gonna take him home Math him up. Look, Leo, you're all home. You're all home. We're gonna go get your bed and bring it down for you. We're gonna go get your bed. Lawrence is just getting his Moses basket all set up for him. Yeah, he's just getting your bed all set up for you. Hi, today is Thursday the 2nd of May. We're at home, yay, we're at home with Leo. Um, last night was his first night at home and Alice stayed at mum and dad's just so we could settle in with him. And he's one of those babies that's awake all night and sleep all day. Well, I say that, he's been awake most of today as well. He's finally asleep in his basket. Um, usually when I put him back in his basket, well, at least this morning, he's woken up every time. But this time he seems to be staying asleep in his basket. Um, my parents brought Alice home about an hour ago. So she's been playing and stuff. She's a bit curious with the baby at first. She gave him a little stroke and stuff, but then she just wasn't bothered and went off playing. But then when I fed him, she did get very jealous. She just kept pointing at me and going, mummy, mummy, trying to get up at me and stuff. So yeah, she got a bit jealous when I was feeding him. So we'll see how, how that goes. I think cause she's been away from me for a, a week now. So and we've only, I've only probably seen her in that week for about an hour maximum in a week. So yeah, she just wanted her mummy and so I quickly fed him and then gave him to my mum and I can just have, then I just had cuddles with her because obviously he doesn't know who, who, who he's with but she does so yeah some cuddles with her she's just gone to the shop with her daddy now to get some food in because she's not got much food in I think Lawrence is going to make us a nice paella because that's her favourite dinner so she's going to make us that for dinner tonight and then I think she's really tired so she needs a nap when she gets back so I'm going to give her a big cuddle and we're going to have a lie down together and hope she'll have a little nap but I'll just show you Leo, he's fast asleep in his, well I say he's fast asleep, he's making noises, he might be waking up, so let's have a look. There's my little man, so I don't know if he's got more wind, he just doesn't seem to get his wind up. I tried to get his wind up, my mum tried to get his wind up and he just didn't get any, he's got one tiny burp but that was it. So I don't 
don't know if it's a bit windy. I do think it looks a bit yellow. So I am worried that his jaundice levels have gone back up again. And if he has, that means we're going to take him back to the hospital, which I'm not. I really don't want to have to do because I don't want to leave Alice any longer than I have done. Because if we do go back to the hospital, I'll have to stay with him again. So I really hope it's not, but he does look very yellow, doesn't he? I'm going to have to see what they say. Oh, little man, hope you've not because mummy doesn't want to leave Alice any longer. She needs her mummy. Just like you do. Yes, yeah, so I think while he's quiet, I'm going to put all my videos that I and all the photographs I took of him were at the hospital onto the computer. So I've got backups and it's not just all on my phone because obviously I don't want to lose any of them. So I'm going to do that and put them all onto my computer. Hopefully it won't take too long. And then. I have to wait an hour now till I can have my lunch because I forgot to take my antibiotic tablet. I should have took it at about 12 so I could have lunch at 1. I don't, I've only just taken it now so I've got to wait a while now till I can have my lunch. I'm starving. So, yeah, if you're wondering, Alice had some chocolate and she got it all over me. Well, it's not too bad, is it? But, yeah, we gave her a little treat since she's been away because she's still got all that Easter stuff because, obviously... She's been at my parents, so she's not eating any of her Easter stuff. So she's still got all of her Easter stuff here as well. So she had one of her little chocolates from Easter. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to do this before he wakes up because he's fussing a little bit. So I'll get back to you in a little bit. So it is now half three. I just gave um, Leo a feed. He had some breastfeed from the breast. And then they also give him a top up with a bottle. But I might have given him too much because he ended up throwing up. So I now need to change all his clothes and get him change because he got sick all over him so I'm just going to change him now. I'm just going to change him into this. He's got this little vest, little Disney vest I'm going to put him in and this little sleep suit. It's just cheeky little robot. I've just got a new muslin cloth because he was sick all over his Dumbo one so I'm just going to get him changed into this now. changed he wasn't very happy about it he screamed but it's all changed now i think he might have got a bit cold but yeah he's, he's all settled now alice is in her cot bed you can see there she's having a nap because she was so tired bless her but yeah here he is in a little sleep um i'm still trying to eat my lunch from about half one this morning um, this afternoon, I mean, I've still not managed to eat it yet. I'm going to try and eat it now, I think. But yeah, Lawrence has just nipped to the shop because, I think I told you, we needed a few things, got no bread and stuff, so he's just nipped to Aldi, he'll be back any minute. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and give him some cuddles. I'll get back to you later. This is looking at her little brother, wasn't you? Mm -hmm. your baby brother, give him a strokey. Give tiny baby a strokey, yeah. Stroke. Oh, strokey stroke. Daddy, that you have a stroke. That's it. Oh, good girl. Hold his handy. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. Good girl. Yay. Is he all gone? She's a good girl, isn't she, Uncle Daniel? Yeah. Aren't you? Touch him. Oh. Look at Alice's lovely din din. She's got a lovely paella that Daddy made. Is that nice? Yeah, that's nice. She's watching Daddy Dubby's her favourite. Yeah. He's a good girl. Hi, so today is Friday the 3rd of May. It's currently quarter past 11. Um, I'd got no sleep last night whatsoever. Leo was just awake most of the night. 
so I didn't really get any sleep. Alice was a little angel, she just slept through, so she was great. <laughs> oh, he's just woke up. I've just given him a feed, but he's still a bit unsettled, so I might have to give him a bit more. I'm trying to put him in this room because he has to be kept in the sunlight to get rid of his jaundice, and the other room is really dark, so this is the room that gets all the light, so I'm trying to keep him in here. But yeah. I think I better go and try and feed him again, so I'll get back to you in a bit. Strokey, show mummy your strokey for Leo. Oh, that's me, that's all. Should we give him a strokey? Oh. No. No, you do it. Yeah, you are doing it. Oh, oh good girl, Ali. Good girl. That's, that's a, a nice little girl. strokey for him. He likes Watch that. Watch him, you can put your finger in his ear. He's got his ear. Don't want to damage his ear. So Does Alice want to come and have her bottle with Mummy now? Here you go. Thank you, hold his hand. Good girl, it's handy. Oh, you're going to look after him, aren't you? Yeah, Alice is going to look after him. Yeah. Oh, come. Baby. Oh, kissy. Yeah, oh, good girl, Alice. Oh, oh. I give him a cuddle. Cuddle. Oh. Oh. You're such a good girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's handy. Yes. Careful. Oh, good girl. Careful, Liz. Face. That's like Georgie. Little Alice is having her lunch, aren't you? You're having lunch? She's got some lovely strawberries. And her favourite cheese and ham, your favourite, isn't it? Good girl. Little Leo seems to be stirring, he's just had his bottle. And I've got to wait till two o'clock to have mine because I forgot to take my tablet earlier. So I have to take them an hour before food. So, yeah, Mummy's got to wait for her lunch now. Are you enjoying that, aren't you? You shoveled that in. That's a bit too much, wasn't it? Hey, still looks quite yellow. So, just put him in the sunshine again, and I'm just sitting next to him. Oh, are you waking up? Oh, good boy. Hi, so it's now 10 o'clock. I'm just about to go to bed because we want to try and get some sleep tonight because we got literally no sleep last night. The midwife did come earlier. I don't know if I mentioned it. She did come earlier and she checked his blood and sent it off. She also looked at my wound and it does still look quite bad. She took another swab to check to make sure that um, the uh, antibiotics I'm on is working for whatever infection I've got. So took a swab for that. That takes a few days to come back. Um, and he, she took his blood test, which we got the results back tonight. And apparently his jaundice levels have gone up again, which isn't great. They said it's not above the line. It's still a bit below the line, but they do need to take his blood again tomorrow. And if it's any worse, then he will have to go back into hospital, which we just really, really don't want. I really don't want to be away from Alice again. So she, the midwife on the phone said, just keep feeding him because that flushes it out, so we're just going to try and constantly feed him. Well, we don't want to overfeed him, but feed him as much as possible and try and flush it out, try and get the levels down by tomorrow. Um, what else? Oh, so they, they weighed him. His weight has gone up, so that's a good sign that we are feeding him well. So his weight has gone up since we left the hospital, which is good. So yeah, that's everything the midwife did. Um, so they're coming again tomorrow to take his blood again and we're just hoping it's not gone up again but we'll see I, th I think his look is yellow but you just can't tell in this light it whether he's or not so we don't know anyway Lauren says just give me my injection and it absolutely killed I have to take them for six weeks but some, it's getting sore and sore now, isn't it? I think because my stomach is quite sore because obviously the scar and it's infected. So it's just making it worse every time he does it and I hate it. But 
I've got six weeks, of, well, no, five weeks left of it, so, yeah, anyway, little Leo needs to do his feed in about 20 minutes, so I think he's just started to stir, so I'll just show you him. So, here he is, he's just started to stir, needs to do his feed in about 20 minutes, so. <coughs> See, up here I always do think he looks really red and yellow, so... Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna say goodnight now and we'll get back to you tomorrow. Hi! Today is Saturday the 4th of May and we've all just woken up. It's about 8 o'clock and it's time for Alice's bottle and it's time for Baby's bottle. Alice is just making sure he's okay, aren't you? Are you seeing baby? Yeah, she's been making sure he's okay. Watching him, aren't you? Good girl. There we are. There we are, Alice. Hi, so it's now 8.50. I fed Alice her bottle earlier and I've just finished reading this little man his bottle. Alice is downstairs with Daddy having her breakfast. But here's this little man. He did have hiccups, but I think we've got rid of them, haven't we? Yeah. So I think he looks even more yellow, and so does Lawrence. So the midwife is coming at some point today to check his levels. I'm hoping we don't have to go back in, but I'm thinking we might. What do you think? Do you think he looks really yellow? People think he's all yellow. Mm. Oh no, little man. So, I've just taken my antibiotics, so I can't have any breakfast now for an hour. And I'm starving, so I hope this hour goes quick. So I think I'm just going to give little Leo some cuddles. Hey, since you're wide awake. And then I'm going to go down and see Alice, so I'll get back to you in a little bit. Hi, so it's now 11 o'clock. The midwife came, I think about half eight, nine o'clock, something like that. And they've taken his blood sample again. And so it takes a few hours to get back, so hopefully we should get back by lunchtime. But they showed me where he was on the chart, and he is literally just below the treatment line. So they said if it has gone up at all, he will be going back to hospital. If it's gone down just a little bit, then they'll have to come back tomorrow and check him again. So we've got our fingers crossed he's gone down or stayed the same, but I'm I'm not confident it has. I think he'll probably have gone up. I think we probably will end up having to take him back to hospital today, which I'm just not looking forward to. But anyway, before we, anything happens, I do need to give him his... Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a toothpaste on me. I do need to give him his wash... We've not given him a wash since he's been home, so I need to give him his little wash. So I'm going to do that now. I've boiled some water. It's in here. I've got some cotton wool, so I'm just going to wipe his face. I've done his bottom, so he just needs his face doing. So I'm going to do that now. He is. Mummy's just about to give him his first wash at home. And he's not going to like me very much, but it's got to be done.
It's all clean now, okay. All clean, little man. All done. And he's all clean. All clean. Oh dear. Yeah, he's your brother. Can you get cuddles? Hello. Yeah. Oh, oh, come. He's not gone. He's there, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, are you gentle. Gentle. Girl. Good girl. Yeah. Gentle. Gentle. Strokey, stroke. Gentle. Don't pull. Don't pull. Yeah, careful. Just okay. strokey. Nice face. So careful. Be gentle. Strokey, stroke. That's it. Good girl. Stroke. Good girl. Oh, no, there. Oh, rock and oh. rock. A bit too hard, that. Gentle. No, no. Gentle. Good girl. Gentle. That's it. Good girl. Oh, is he asleep? No. No, not there. Got to be gentle. No. Can't put fingers in his ears. No, because he's only little. What damage is there? Should we let him have his sleepy time now? Nice Alice will play with Daddy. Me, you play. Yeah, Rocky Rock. Yeah. You used to sleep in there, didn't you? Yeah, when you were a baby, you slept in there. Hi, so it's actually now 11 o'clock. I'm really sorry I didn't get back to you later, but it's been a busy, well, it's not a busy day, a tiring day. Just trying to get into a routine with the two children. Um, we got uh, Leo's results back at around half three today, and his levels are more or less the same as they were last time, just below the treatment line. So they are coming tomorrow again to take his sample to see um, if it's gone down or if it's gone up they said if it's gone um down or if it's stayed the same then they'll come back in 48 hours and check it again if it's gone up then he's got to go to hospital and i'm a bit worried that it might go up because he has not been waking up for his feeds the last couple of feeds and he's not been drinking as much he's only had about 20 mils and he usually has about 50 so it's not looking too good so we'll have to see tomorrow what the results come back like but we're just going to bed now i'm in bed little leo's in bed alice is fast asleep in bed there's the monitor there just watching alice and lawrence is just about to come to bed so i will try and get back to you tomorrow and keep you updated on what is going on with little leo hi today is sunday the 5th of may it's currently i think a quarter past 11. um the midwife came this morning at about 10 o'clock and took Leo's blood sample and we're waiting for the results for that to get back. She said it'd be a few hours. Um, I think yesterday it came back around three, four o'clock, so I'm expecting it to come back around the same time again. So she said if it stays the same, they're gonna come back in 48 hours and take the test again. If it's gone down, I think they're gonna come back in 48 hours again anyway and check it again. If it's gone up, then he's going to have to go back to hospital this evening. So, fingers crossed it's stayed the same or gone down. But I'm not too confident it has because he does look very yellow. His eyes look very yellow. So, we're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, Alice is taking her nap. She's asleep in her cot bed. Little Leo's asleep in his basket just here next to me. And Lawrence has gone to take a nap because he, he didn't get much sleep last night and he's quite tired so I've told him to go and take a nap while he can while these are asleep because I got a bit of extra sleep than him so he's going to try and take a little nap now because bless him he looks shattered so yeah hopefully he can get a bit of sleep 
and then we'll see what happens the rest of the day whether we have to go to hospital again or whether we get to stay at home so I'm just going to do some work at the computer for a bit while all the kids are asleep um, and Lawrence and yeah that's what I'm going to do and I'll get back to you later I'll let you know what's going on hi so it's now half one I've just been well I've been trying to eat my lunch I've not finished it yet just give him his bottle and I've just fed her lunch haven't we yeah we've had her lunch she has thrown the plate on the floor but I'll have to pick it up in a minute and Alice is just watching Rosie and Jim Lawrence is having a little nap because he was tired I'm going to put it on. Anyway, I better put Rosie and Jim on for Alice. We're still waiting on Leela's results to come back. They've not come back yet. Hopefully they'll be back soon and then we'll know what's happening. So I will let you know once we find out. Alice going to go to Nana and Grandad's with Daddy to play. We say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Just wait till the old bosses are Bye-bye. Good Can you wait bye-bye to mummy? Hi, so it's now half eight. We've still not heard back about Leo's test results. So Lawrence has just taken Alice to my parents' house to have a play outside in the garden, get her outside for a bit because she's been stuck in the house for a few days. So He's gone to take her around there so she can play out on a swing and stuff because it's quite sunny so it would be nice for her to have a little play. And little Leo is just asleep next to me. I'm going to try and get some editing done on the computer. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So as soon as I find out the results, I'll let you know because we could have to rush off to the hospital. So yeah, I'll get back to you in a bit. Hi, it's now half four and we've just got the results back from his test and he is four bars below the treatment line so he doesn't have to go into hospital yay so happy we were worried that he would have to but that's really really good news it's gone down so the midwives are not going to come again till Tuesday because they'll give us a day off because we've had the round every day since we've got home so they're going to give us a day off tomorrow so we can go out so hopefully we're going to go into town tomorrow take both the kids out you know, I really want to get Alice out because she's been stuck in day so we're gonna take her out um probably go and get something nice to eat just have a nice day and then Tuesday they're gonna come round we're also registering him on Tuesday so I'm hoping they come before we have to go and register him we're not registering until the afternoon till three o'clock so fingers crossed they come before then they have every day this week they've come in the morning about 10 so hopefully they will again so yeah, he's getting better, good boy. I think maybe keeping him in the sunlight is, is a good idea. We've, that's why we're keeping it in the craft room because we get all the sunlight through this window in the in the other room, where the living room, we get no sunlight whatsoever. So we've been keeping him in here so we've been getting the sunlight. So it seems to have worked, thank God for that. So yeah, we're all happy now. We don't have to go into hospital. So I think I'm going to continue doing some editing at my computer, trying to get these vlogs up so you can actually see them. And yeah, so happy time. I'll get back to you in a bit. So it's now quarter to five and this little man's waking up for his bottle. Are you? Should mommy go and get you a nice bottle? So we currently are um, formula feeding him and breastfeeding him because we needed to get as much fluid in him as possible they said it was best to probably bottle feed him um so we knew how much he was getting and making sure he was getting enough to flush the jaundice out so we have been formula feeding him and i've also been expressing as well but i'm not a chance to express today so he's going to have to have some formula milk now and um usually if he wakes between feeds and i put him on the breast but he doesn't seem to get much from the breast from breastfeeding. So that's why we had to feed him bottles. So I'm gonna feed him his bottle and then when he goes to sleep, I'm gonna get my pump out and I'll express so that his next feed, he can have some breast milk. It's just been so hard to find the time to express now that I'm home and I've got Alice to look after as well. Because at the hospital, I had a chance to do it. I think I was expressing every three hours. So he always had breast milk when he was in hospital. But since we've been home, I've just not had a chance to do as much. So he's only really been getting two um, breast milk bottles a day and the rest of them formula. But it seems to be working though because his jaundice 
is going down so as long as he's getting that rid of that that's all that really matters so i'm gonna go and get him his bottle and then feed him so we've got this tommy hippie prep machine back out again um we were using it with alice well actually we had a black one that was using for alice and it broke just before the guarantee ran out and we went and got this one as um, a replacement for it and we haven't really needed to use it since we got it because she went straight onto cow's milk then so this is pretty much a new machine i think they might have used it twice for alice so he's got his own little prep machine so i'm just going to make his bottle now the smallest amount you can make on this is four ounces but he only drinks two so we always end up wasting about two ounces but it's just easier than making it up because it's made quicker and it's made at the right temperature so we're just going to use this so i'm going to Set it up now and make him his bottle. Okay, so I've got his bottle all ready for him, so I'm just going to get him now and I'm going to feed him. I'll probably watch a bit of telly while I feed him. So it is now about 11 o'clock and we're all about to head to bed. Alice has obviously been in bed for a while. Lawrence is just about to bring Leo up to bed and I'm absolutely knackered. So I'm really tired so I'm looking forward to getting some sleep. Well, hopefully I'll get some sleep tonight. We'll see how Leo and Alice are. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this week's weekly vlog. If you have, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.